What's up guys, this is Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and I recently got a really good question on my blog and I actually didn't know how to answer it. So this question was, do spiders sleep? Do tarantulas sleep? And I actually didn't know how to answer this because um, I've had Spidey, my Chilean rose hair, for quite a while, um, maybe about six years, and I have seen her go through the most inactive periods where she will just not move for days and I think like maybe she could be sleeping. She's also done some really weird stuff where I've given her like a little um, teacup or she'll even do this with her water dish where she'll fill it up with dirt completely and then like lay in it for a really long time. And it totally looks like she's sleeping, but I just don't know. Um, and I, there's also been times where she just is totally relaxed with her legs out and her belly on the bottom of, the, of her substrate. Um, and she's just, chilling and it's very peaceful body language that she's giving me and you know then maybe accidentally I'll startle her or I'll, I'll try to open the tank and refill her water and then all of a sudden she freaks out like she was just like startled awake um, so that's something that a lot of tarantula owners have noticed and that's been kind of when I was researching the topic of do tarantulas or spiders sleep that is something that came up where like they do actually have this like startle period or this instinct where they're like kind of like what's going on i don't know like they're freaking out um and it's exactly what like humans like you or i would do or like any animal like a dog or a cat if they were all of a sudden like startled awake and uh their instincts were kind of going off so um i don't know i mean i think that that's a really interesting observation but when I tried to research this topic, there actually wasn't a lot of concrete info. Um, like even a great guide like the Tarantula Keeper's Guide, um, they were kind of a little bit unsettled about like how do we define sleep and like there hasn't really been much research about this. So, you know, like once again, I feel like I don't have a definite answer, but I did definitely like search through a lot of forums and uh, different comments on, on the internet, uh, different articles. So I want to share some of that with you just so that I like, can give you some food for thought and um, kind of like tell you what kind of ways people are looking at this question. I also want to point out that it's super hard to even tell if spiders really sleep anyway because first of all they don't have eyelids so it's not like they close their eyes or anything <laughs> and also um, a lot of them are nocturnal they are more active at night anyway so um, it would be kind of hard to really because they have different rhythms than us humans do it would be kind of hard to figure out how their sleep cycle actually works. One really cool response that I found uh, in an article um, was this. Um, this is what they wrote. It really depends on how you define sleep. All animals have some sort of circadian rhythm, a daily activity inactivity pattern. Some are active during the day, others are active at nighttime. The periods of inactivity are characterized by withdrawal and a drop in metabolic rate. Um, so that's really interesting because tarantulas have very slow metabolisms to begin with and I don't think we've really done much um, research on their metabolic rates and like how they differ or cycle. So that's something really interesting to look at. Um, so then they wrote, this applies to spiders as well, although no studies have been done to measure the period of time spent in such a state or what times different species do it. So who knows if this would differ from species to species. It seems that spiders with good eyesight that rely on vision to capture prey may tend to be more active in daylight hours, like jumping spiders. Whereas others who rely on snares or webs could be active at other times, but this is not necessarily the case for all species. And in colder climates, spiders overwinter, which means they have a kind of hibernation period. Um, this is something that I've definitely noticed with Spidey. She gets a lot less active when it gets colder. Overwintering involves a drop in metabolic rate where the spiders bring their legs into their body and remain huddled in a shelter during the coldest months of the year. This ability to shut down for a long period of time indicates that they might be able to do it for shorter periods in their everyday cycle, which could be seen as a form of sleep or rest. And another response I wanted to share on this came from Reddit. Um, the user 006fix had this to say, and I really like this description. They certainly have behavior that mimics sleep, such as loss of muscle tension, no movement for duration, delayed response to stimuli compared to normal, 
and with somewhat more jump than might be expected for that level of stimuli, which is kind of what I was talking about before, about Spidey being startled awake. And I also really recently noticed this for with Blinky, my new Arizona Bond sling, was that I kind of accidentally moved his or her enclosure, and I guess they had been resting and were totally not expecting it because they started running around like crazy and I felt so bad, but it was definitely like a startled response, um, kind of like a little freak out. So I'm not gonna be doing that again, I feel really bad. <laughs> um, so uh, the easiest way to see when this happens to your tarantula is if they fall asleep on the side of their enclosure horizontal to the ground. Their abdomen slumps down with gravity noticeably as they sleep like this. As to why they sleep, sleep is universal to most all organisms. Various organisms use variants on sleep to preserve constant attention, but they basically all do it. Studies in lizards recently have revealed very ancient roots to the human style REM, slow wave and fast rate wave sleep cycles, and even very simple invertebrates like fruit flies will suffer cognitive declines if deprived of sleep. Spiders have some of the most concentrated CNSs, I don't, I'm not sure what that stands for, I'm sorry, <laughs> of any invertebrates, so will almost certainly exhibit complex neurobiological sleep patterns if anyone cares to study them. I doubt they dream though. I think that if Spidey was going to dream, she would probably dream about her next interior design project or digging her tunnels since she doesn't really eat very much. Um, but anyway, so, you know, I, I feel like whenever I do these like crazy tarantula facts videos on like a really cool topic, I really struggle to find definite answers and studies that support this. It's a lot of like, well, how do you define emotions or how do you define sleep or how do you define um, this kind of stuff. So, you know, unfortunately, I really wish that scientists would actually go more into studying these creatures. I would love to. don't have the background or the equipment to do it, but um, I just, you know, I try to just document and share what I've observed. Um, so I do think that my personal opinion, um, based on what I've observed and what I kind of looked up um, on these forums and in different articles, is that there is some sort of rest that tarantulas and spiders have, but I'm not really sure if it's like the sleep that we do. And that's kind of the consensus on the internet so far and uh, as well as the tarantula keepers guide. Um, I'm definitely gonna be looking more into this. But this is what I, I found so far. If anyone else knows a little bit more about the topic, definitely um, put your theories or comment uh, on what your opinion is on this matter because um, it's definitely something that deserves more recognition. Um, unfortunately, invertebrates just aren't really given the, um, the studies that they deserve. So anyway, but um, I think Spidey's kind of sleeping right now because she's been in that position for like a few days <laughs> and she's just chilling and resting. Um, anyway, Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this educational video or topic, please subscribe or comment below. Um, I do put out a video every single week along with the Tarantula Tuesday newsletter, which you can sign up for in the link below. And I also have a tarantula guide out where I talk about lots of different tarantula care topics. Um, and I also share a few tips and tricks that I've learned. And I also have a tarantula magazine that I put out. So you could definitely um, check that out at the link below as well. But thanks so much guys for watching. And I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week. Bye.